Once upon a time, there was Clara, and once upon a time, there was Christmas. For Clara, as for all children, Christmas Eve is the most wonderful night of the year, a night when anything can happen. Knock, knock, knock. Who can that be? Oh, all of a sudden, it was pitch black. What was going on? All of the children waited eagerly, holding their breath. Poof! Uncle Drosselmeyer appeared under his black velvet cloak and a top hat. He was a toy maker and Clara's godfather. A visit from him was always full of surprises. An extra special gift for all the children. What would he pull out of his hat tonight? Surprise! A whole army of toy soldiers for Clara's brother Fritz. Surprise! A funny-looking wooden fellow with round cheeks and a wide smile. He was a gift for Clara, a real nutcracker. Crack go the hazelnuts, crack, crunch go the pistachios. Oh, suddenly Fritz snatched a nutcracker out of Clara's hands. Every time Clara received a gift, from, a gift, Fritz wanted to take it from her, but not this time. Give him back, Fritz. Push and pull, crack, the nutcracker broke. Clara burst into tears. Uncle Drussel Mayer saw her crying and was at her side in a flash. He produced a small white scarf out of nowhere and tied it around the nutcracker's head like a bandage. Clara was relieved. She lay him in a small nutcracker-sized bed for the night and crept to the sofa to keep, wa to keep watch over him. Soon, she fell asleep. Dong, dong, dong. The clock struck twelve. Clara woke up with a start. Dong, dong, dong. The Christmas tree seemed to be getting taller, and was it Clara who was getting smaller? Clara heard noises. She turned and saw that the room had filled with mice, and was led by a giant mouse king. All of a sudden, Fritz's toy soldiers sprang to life. The mouse king was a fearsome fight. He stepped behind Clara's precious nutcracker who hadn't seen her. Clara was the first thing that came to mind. She took off one of her dancing slippers and threw it hard as she could at the mouse king. The nutcracker had see seen her and turned around just in time to feed the mouse king. The army of mice ran away with their falling king and the nutcracker transformed into a prince. Clara and the prince then went to an enchanted kingdom of sweet, rare, the sugar plum fairy ruled. There was hot chocolate, candy canes, gingerbread cookies, gumdrops, and delicious colors all around them. The sugar plum fairy welcomed the Nutcracker Prince and Clara with a curse and waved her, her wand. Sweets appeared right before Clara's eyes. The Nutcracker Prince told the story of the battle with the mice king. The sugar plum fairy congratulated them and invited everyone in the land of sweets to dance for him and Clara. Even the flowers danced for them. To honor the bad cracker prince and Clara for defeating the mice, the sugar plum fairy and her cavalier performed the dance for them too. Then everyone from the land of sweets waved goodbye and Clara and the prince got into a magical reindeer pulled sleigh that flew far into the night. Clara was so happy and so comfortable that she fell asleep. When she woke, she saw that she was back in her house, sleeping on the sofa next to the beautiful Christmas tree. Her nutcracker was safe beside her, but she did notice Fritz's toy soldiers scattered all over the floor. A sparkly fairy sat smiling at her from the top of the tree, and it seemed to Clara that the snowflakes falling outside the window were dancing.